Hey, Adam here with the Solar Truth. I'm in my home bedroom office uh, with the you know social distancing mandate in California, and I'm here to show everybody how to easily make. I mean, kind of easy. It's it's a pain in the butt, but <laughs> make Skype work with Office 365 and Outlook. So um, I'm coming to you uh, uh, in my you know pajamas here with my pug in the background. Got my Pugs Not Drugs shirt on. Pretty cool shirt. And I'm going to solve a problem that uh, many people have given up on. Uh, how to get uh, Skype to work. So uh, in 2011, uh, Microsoft bought Skype for $8.5 billion. Uh, pretty crazy cash, I guess, too. Uh, actually, uh, it's largest cash acquisition ever. Pretty, pretty insane. Uh, but they never really got it to work good. Uh, people have, uh, you know, if you've tried this, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you try to use Outlook here and it's like, how do I send a meeting? Especially the online one, actually, uh, we'll get more into that. And there's various different steps to make this work. And eventually it will, um, some of the first steps maybe will work for you and some of the later steps. So, uh, you, you honestly, you can't find this information anywhere else online. Uh, and it took me quite a while to figure this out. Well, a couple days. Um, so I actually uh, have a couple of bachelor's degrees as well as a solar and electrical contractor's license, but um, not many people know that I actually have a, I was getting a degree in computer science and um, I do have a, uh, my pug left, a associate's degree uh, is what I got and then I kind of changed my majors. But anyway, uh, was kind of a computer nerd in high school and, and everything. Um, so I, I tinker around with stuff like this and, and figure it out. Um, so. When you have Office uh, 365 here, um, this is your main uh, app page where wh whatever app you're in, if you click on the, the, the top you know, nine little dots there, you have Office 365, which brings you to all of your apps. Uh, and then you also have uh, Office 360 Install Office, which gives you the actual apps, not the, the web versions that you use in Google Chrome or Outlook, I mean, sorry, or uh, um, uh, just any web browser. Uh, Microsoft Edge. Um, so uh, you can install your apps here. Install like you know the apps actually on your on your uh, the computer. And the apps have a lot more options, a lot more functions. Uh, you know when you're in the the web view, um, you have very limited. Like if you look at your uh, top bar here, there's like no options. It's just very minimal things you can do. So. Um, so I would recommend installing those, first of all, just for different uh, accessibility in, in Word, Outlook, uh, PowerPoint, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but install other options. Um, also has Office there, but then View Apps and Devices, uh, you have Skype for Business. So first you want to make sure this is installed, uh, but that might, that's, that's just the beginning. Um, so, you know, click Install, install that. Um, and then uh, install the, the uh, you know, Outlook as well. So you definitely want to install Office and install Outlook. And then when you have that, um, you can get to it, um, you know, one way is just Outlook here. Go to your Outlook app. And um, notice, no, nothing about Skype. So how do you set up a meeting for business or for whatever, talking to your friends again. Um, so if you go to uh, uh, new items, uh, you have like team meetings with, if, if anybody's used Teams, it, it's horrible. Uh, there is kind of ways to do meetings in, uh, internally with other people in your group, in your business email and stuff. And that kind of works okay, but it's a pain in the butt. Um, so you have, uh, you know, let's set up a new meeting and uh, that comes up with, um, you know, you can do a team meeting, meeting notes, whatever, but still no Skype. So uh, let's just, uh, yeah, actually go to file and then go to options and add-ins and you have Skype meeting here now. So, okay, um, it, it, it is inactive, but it's available. Um, as long as you have it installed, that's kind of the first step. Um, then you hit this little go on the um, common add-in. Add 
Uh, and then you have a drop down. And down here is Skype. So we can add that. And now you, you see it. Actually, it won't be there. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit too. But uh, at least you'll have it. Um, have it available. Like if we close this. Uh, now on our new items here, we have Skype. So, um, so now that's at least there. So that's good. But the problem is, uh, you might have an issue where, uh, and that might have actually solved your problem. That might be all you need to do, and then you have it there. And let's go ahead and show you. You know, if we if we uh, right click this and customize ribbons, we can actually take it uh, from the calendar here and move it up. Um, next to the new items there under your mail, click OK, and now you have it there. So that's cool. Um, now let's close that and reopen it. Oh, we gotta we gotta open the the actual app. So open it there from your start menu again. And now it's still there, but a lot of people might, that might not happen. So the other step is to get it to actually save in Outlook. Um, what I found out is uh, that I had a, a kind of an old version of Skype installed on my computer. And, you know, this computer, I had to actually upgrade it from Windows uh, 7 or to, uh, uh, yeah, Windows 7 to Windows 10. And uh, um, so I, anyway, I had a little bit older version of Skype. And I was having a problem where it just wasn't saving. Every time you close it, you got to do those steps again, which let me go through those again really quick. Um, you know, when, when, wherever you're at in uh, the Outlook window, if you right click on, uh, you can either go, uh, you know, to file and options and add-ins. Um, and then Skype is here. You know, you click on Skype, which is inactive generally and go. And then you have access to, to, to turn it on or off there. Um, uh, but th you're going to need to do that every time, which is a pain in the butt. Um, so if we close uh, that again, if you go to your um, start menu, actually go to your search and type in Skype, and you have that Skype for business, right click on that and uninstall. So go ahead and uninstall that. Um, through the uninstall process, and then go back, uh, go back to install Office and install it here again. Uh, once that's done, you know, and you've restarted your computer, then come back here, view apps and devices, and install Skype again. Um, so then, if you go back into your uh, Outlook email and go through that the steps again, right click on the ribbons or go to in file and info, customize ribbons, and then you have your add-ins there. And you have Skype for meeting and go and enable that. Uh, then it will stay there. Uh, now to, well, I already showed you how to get it, you know, just to, to be on this win main window here. Now all, all you do is click it. You know, that's the easy part. Once you have it ready, um, you just click it. Uh, it's going to put a join Skype meeting, put the date and time, put, uh, you know, whoever you're, uh, the title of it, whoever you're uh, uh, sending it to, and good to go. They get an email, they click on that. Um, you, you click on that as well and it'll be in your calendar, uh, and, uh, and that's it. Um, now this, I guess, I think I made this fairly simple, but it, it was actually a, a long process of going back and forth, uh, to, to make everything work right. Um, as well as, uh, if you search, um, for this problem, um, one thing you might come up with is a uh, Skype for Business meeting option missing in Outlook. This helped me out a little bit, and uh, I'll go through these steps real quick. This shows you, um, you know, it, you might actually have a slower disabled add-in too uh, in your info. Um, if you go down slower disabled add-ins, it might have uh, uh, Skype there. Uh, that didn't happen with me, but, you know, maybe with somebody else. And then it's like, if that wasn't the problem, go to your add-in. Um, Uh, uh, how to enable it, which I already showed you there, 
And then if that doesn't work, close and reopen it um, and then run it as administrator. So this uh, kind of helped too. If I ran it as administrator, it would actually save the Skype option in there. But then when I ran it normally, it wouldn't. So, um, you know, this, uh, you can go to administrator and uh, look at slower disabled add-ins. If it's still not listed, move step five. I kept having to go through these steps. And then it says uh, remove it. So this kind of gave, this didn't work for me. I removed it and then I had to um, uh, reinstall Skype, but that still didn't help. And then I, you have to go to your, uh, uh, to, well, actually you don't reinstall Skype. You have to uh, go to your root files in, in your program files and add this UC add-in back in to make it show up. But that still didn't work for me. And it says look to escalate a ticket. Well, for me, that was uninstalling Skype and then reinstalling it, fix that problem. So this might help and you could follow these steps. Uh, it didn't help for me. I mean, honestly, I would say the easiest thing is just uninstall Skype right away, install Skype again, and then enable it in Outlook. Uh, enable it here, um, you know, just by right clicking, customizing ribbons, uh, adding the add-in there, and then moving that add-in, um, moving that add-in that you find in your, in your calendar here up to your main uh, right before, right under new, and then it'll be right there. Right there. So the completion of how to use Skype um, when you're sending emails, you know, after you click on it, uh, just the Skype button, or you click on, or uh, if you don't get it uh, to have a button there, uh, new items, Skype meeting, same thing, it'll put it in your email. So um, then just subject, you put your, so if you can, you put your title of your meeting, and then, uh, you know, whoever you have on your email. Uh, once you send that, uh, Outlook is going to put it on your calendar. So that's what's nice about this too. Kind of, you know, better than other, uh, you know, outside sources um, like Zoom and stuff. Um, so then you have, uh, you know, you can go to your, your calendar. Oh, got it right there. And, uh, you know, you have your meeting there. So join Skype meeting. That's all you got to do. And that person is just going to click on their email to, to do it. And you also have your um, Skype app here that's going to keep track of them too, Skype for Businesses, where all they're all there and, and you can click on them there too if you have a Skype meeting going on and just click on join. So there's uh, various ways to, to join it there. And, uh, and then I'm sure, uh, you know, everybody's, a lot of people have done Skype meetings uh, from other people or Zoom meetings, you know, that, that, that it just opens up when you click on your email and it's really uh, simple. So yeah, that is all. Um, thanks for watching and, uh, this will give you, uh, save you a bit of money, you know, don't have to pay for zoom and use some other program that, uh, you know, Skype actually works really well. Um, you can do it with, uh, unlimited amount of people, um, unlimited amount of time as far as I know. And, um, that's about it. Please make sure seriously to like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, just started it recently and doing a lot of uh, really good stuff stuff uh, with the truth about solar, uh, rate analysis, battery backups, monitoring systems, also some how-to videos. I'm actually post some how to fix some some plumbing repair uh, uh, faucets, uh, old old style that, that uh, don't work right, uh, replacing those valves. And uh, pretty soon I'm gonna do some videos on solar monitoring too, like this, this NView, uh, this Emporia view right here. Uh, it's like 50, 40, 50 bucks online. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, this actually isn't for solar, but just for your home usage. You know, you got to keep electric bills down right now. And uh, this is going to be one of the cheapest ways to do that, to manage your use and see what's going on. Um, and then uh, really know better, you know, what size solar you might need or batteries and stuff. So um, pretty cool little device uh, that is super inexpensive and easy to install, I think. I'm going to install it and show you guys. Um, but then uh, my other videos, you know, I got uh, uh, videos on the Tesla roof tile, battery backups, uh, the solar truck, why Hawaii banned solar. So a lot of really good uh, videos out there and need to get um, more people watching them and subscribing and liking to it. So thank you again. And please uh, uh, share it. Uh, Facebook, like and subscribe, especially this video. Anybody with a business, you know, needs to know how to do webinars and needs to know how to, to, to work online and from their, their house or wherever they're at. Um, all right. Thank you. And see you next time.